Back at it. Right here. You're listening to the Crunch Time Podcast covering music. Music. Uh, yeah. Culture and positive high vibrational life tips. It starts now. Yo, 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 yo. It is I, Tommy Jizzle Rice. Welcome to the Crunch Time Podcast. Yeah. This is episode six. You already know, you know what I'm saying? I'm reporting live from Tucson, Arizona. So I want to uh, introduce our special guest, man. I got my brother, CG, Craig Flo Dollar. Yeah, this CG. What he said, Craig Flo Dollars. You know what I'm saying? Arizona, stand up. Yeah. Hey, Craig was on a radio show, nigga. Hey, called Craig in. Flo, man. Craig Flo Dollars, CG One Love. Twitter me, Google me. You know what I'm saying? CG O N E L O V. But I did the Republican intro for the Republican show in Tucson, Arizona. John Justice 104.1, The Truth. Mm. Tune in. Because they love both sides. It's all about justice. You ain't got to be black. You ain't got to be white. You ain't got to be a Republican. I'm not a Republican, but I might vote Republican. Man, he just gonna pass the mic down the line, nigga. We got all the niggas in the room. It's St. Louis in the building, man. Young Interstate Ice checking in. Yeah, man, this nigga from St. Louis. Shout out St. Louis, you know. Yeah, want to give a big shout out to Slug. Already holding down the South, St. Louis Underground. You know what I mean? See us in the streets, man. We the ones getting in the end, taking over, dog. You know what I mean? Big shout out to Reap. Reap 314, nigga, drop that mixtape, nigga, the rap just killed the game, nigga. See us out here, nigga. Fuck with me. You got an AZ Tucson. Started my first day at the U of A today, so, you know. Oh, feel a little UVA. good out right here. Fresh I'm good. UVA. Congratulations, man. Niggas with degrees. That's what I like to hear, man. Straight up, straight up. Well, today's topic actually is staying true to yourself. Mm, mm, mm. What a good topic. We got some good shit for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for listening. TommyJizzleRice.com. Keep on clicking on the pages. I know you see the good shit up there. Got some real nice photos. And, you know, I'm looking real nice for the ladies. So, hey, yo, my birthday just passed, yo. Hey, nigga, nigga just turned 22. 22? Yeah, I just turned 22, y'all. Young, young and in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young and in the game. It got a lot of knowledge on you old niggas. Holla at me. Man, the youngest man in the room and the first one on iTunes. Ooh. But you can add an S, but nigga, iTunes. Hit me up, man. TommyJizzleRice.com. The Crunch Time Podcast. We on iTunes right now. Shout out to all our iTunes listeners, Yay. SoundCloud listeners, uh, Spreaker listeners, you know, TommyJizzleRice.com listeners. If you just clicked in from Facebook, Twitter, I'm, it don't matter. Thank you. Yeah. The first song, my main man might call him Corey Ford. You know what I'm saying? He is from St. Louis, moved up there to Chicago, doing his things real big. You know, he got a six song EP coming out pretty soon. So look out for that. And Corey is K H O R. Shit, he got the same name as my daughter, man. That's what's up. So this shit is real hard. It's my brother from another mother, of course. So listen to it. It's called Dreaming. Yeah. Prime season, about to go ape shit, dive in the deep end. Bad bitches come alive on the weekend. You already know the sequence. How my niggas suited up like beacons. I be knocking them down, knocking them down. These hoes got no defense. Your girl go round, your girl go round. Last week she did a high life remix. Only niggas in the club with the weed lit. Fuck VIP, we in the middle doing a thing. Got the whole club leaning. Swear to God, I feel like I'm dreaming. Dreaming, 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 dreaming. She looking at me. Yeah, yeah. 
said, she said I came with him, but I'm leaving with you, yo. She said I came with him, but I'm leaving with you, yo. She said I came with him, but I'm leaving with you, yo. She said I came with him, but I'm leaving with you. Yeah, I ain't worried about nothing, just me and my crew. About to get the spot, jump and fuck with me and my crew. Fuck with me and my crew. All of a sudden, these niggas wanna be in my crew. Wanna be in my crew. Wanna leave with me, then you're leaving with me and my crew It's been so me long, we go so long now Look at me with all this gold on, yeah Everything I touch for so long, I'm telling you Even when it's out, I put a coat on Full press, going for the bucket, nothing less Sunsetting on the moon, pulling up some fresh Shoot movies on the set, bitch, move hot the rack Young niggas living life, yelling out, fuck death Yeah, Saturday we in All of the clubs, on all of your girls I probably end up at seasons You probably I'm in my demons I, I know, I know I be speeding It's gotta be from all this drinking I don't know what time I be Leaving. I'm probably trying to find me a reason, yeah Rockin', I'm trippin', I'm leanin', I'm tippin', I'm sippin' and liftin' Your girl go missin', shout out nigga, lie that we goin' all in We get lifted, we holdin' it down, I don't know what about them A lot of sour love from over by them Put my shades on my eye and I lower my brim Feelin' deja vu all over again Watchin' her watch me for more by him She lookin' at me, a man right there But she lookin' at me, like that's the man right there I'ma stand right here She said I came with him, but I'm leaving with you, yo. She said I came with him, but I'm leaving with you, yo. She said I came with him, but I'm leaving with you, yo. She said I came with him, but I'm leaving with you. Yeah, I ain't worried about nothing, just me and my crew. About to get the spot, jump and fuck with me and my crew. Fuck with me and my crew. All of a sudden, these nigga wanna be in my crew. Wanna be in my crew. If you wanna leave with me, then you're leaving with me and my crew. Yo, 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 that was that song, Corey. So uh, we got some we got some real shit to talk about. The topic, staying true to yourself, man. I know a lot of people have been having different shit going on. People feel like they haven't been staying true to their self. I mean, it's just a lot to do with it. What's, in your words, Craig, what's your definition of staying true to oneself? That is not changing your belief systems based on what someone told you. Or going off what the new song is on the radio Niggas is not staying true to their beliefs The belief system And that's something that needs to change Yeah Yeah Definitely St. Louis what about you my nigga Like what do you think about Staying true to the self What does that mean to you Man that mean everything dog If you can't stay true to yourself What can you stay true to You mm. know what I mean Motherfuckers can't be fucking with you out here where we be at, man. If motherfuckers ain't a thousand coming to the table, bro. I think one person that has been staying true to themselves in the game. I think we was talking about this is uh E40, nigga. E40 is a perfect example of a nigga staying true to themselves. That nigga had the most unoriginal style and never changed it, and now he's number one because of it. Mm-hmm. The streets represented and respected the fact that he never changed the elements of what made him. True to his fan base mm-hmm. And no one does that these days You know His fan base is so It's so like Hip to his shit that, Nah they like, don't even know That Tupac was on Every one of E-40's albums Before he died That's the main thing Tupac had respect For that nigga enough To show up on every one Of his albums mm-hmm. And people don't even know that True 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 And E-40 had a lot to do With the shit or the slang and hip hop for real. Shizzle, bizzle, bizzle, dizzle. All the shizzle, nizzle. My, my name probably wouldn't even be Jizzle if it mm-hmm. wasn't for Snoop Dogg. Right? That's like a hip hop thing for but real. Like Snoop took it from Mac Dre. 
Snoop took it from Mac Dre and uh, Drew Down and E-40. Damn. The old Bay Legends. So Snoop took it from them and then didn't even give respect to them. So there's mm-hmm. even street funk about that. Damn. But I like E-40 new shit he been coming out with, though. Like, he's yeah. still staying relevant. Consistent. Consistent. Still got niggas on. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit. Um, who else in the game that's been, like, staying true? Who you can say? The most, shit. the number one truest nigga in the game. Or person, no matter single, just, just real person in the game, you know? That's hot right now. You can't even, I don't even know. I'm an old school nigga, so I say Scarface, but he's not in the streets ever. Mm-hmm. Scarface the rapper, not the movie. Oh, okay, Scarface, you know, Ghetto Boys, what's up, H Town? Yeah. All day. But T.I., T.I. hard, he's never changed. T.I.? Yeah, T.I. kept the. Say, look, what you think about T.I.? What you think about T.I.? You know, a lot of niggas got a lot of different things to say about T.I. I mean, motherfuckers can say what they want to say about T.I., whatever, only, only, only sour shit you can really throw on a nigga name is a little shit with the assault rifles, goddamn me, and a nigga getting off, but, you know what I mean, at the same time, nigga, the nigga in the magazine worth 75 mil, so, remember that shit, too, but, goddamn me, niggas have been keeping it real since day one type motherfuckers, dog. I mean, I fuck with motherfuckers that's trill with it like roll. You know what I mean? Uh, like motherfuck zero. me. Zero. Like my nigga Crit doing it right yeah, now. Nigga, crazy. shout out to Crit, bro. We see you in the loop, dog. That's real shit from St. Louis, nigga. For real. <laughs> Interstate. <laughs> Interstate. Here's another person I think that stayed true in the game. I think she is kind of hip hop at the same time. I was going to bring up Janelle Monet. Oh, yeah. She kind of came in the game being true to herself. Her outlet was hip hop, so I think she got a lot to do with hip hop culture. Cause you know, being found by Big Boy came out on Idlewild, a hip hop film, and I mean, shit, it was right. Damn, I even remember that's where she came. Yeah, that's where she came from, Idlewild, and now she's like cover girl, and still didn't change her shit. Eric Badu, Andre, Three Stacks. All them niggas, I feel like they all been staying true to who they was, Common. you know. Common. Didn't let the industry just like. Or Eric Badu divorce ruin him. Oh, uh, yeah. His style, though. True, Common switched up his style, though, a little bit. Common, like, you know. He it, got away from the Neo Soul. But he. He had to. Mm, did he really did, did he really get away from he the Neo Soul? He branched away commercial wise because he had to. And then emotional wise, he really had to. A marriage what? with Erica Badu. You see this style? He doesn't even dress the same. True, he don't. He did have a little, but I mean, he had to re react with times. He's still been selling out. Erica Badu changed him. She changed everybody. She will change you. Dang, She'll she have did. You running cha- around butt naked in Dallas City like her video, trying to get a window seat. <laughs> Can I get a window seat? Damn. All right, so getting on to this next song, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get up playing. It's my main man. From AZ, man, putting on for the Tuck Town, man. You no, know, no, he is the he was the voice box champion, man. It's why not Tony? Why not Audrey? You know what I'm saying? Tony, why not Audrey? Yeah, but no, he's about to be on Smack, the the West Coast Smack. Oh uh, yeah, URL. Stuff. Yeah, I know what URL Smack is. Just Google why not AZ. This, mm-hmm. this why, or, or Taste Clothing Line. T A S T E. For real, man. Shout out why not? He just stopped by the other day. We chopped it up. Everything. My ninja. Well, anyway, this why not? From Tuck Town, nigga. A song called Evil Inside, man. Some real shit. So listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Where my mind's going Who am I? I don't know where I'm at 
God in this moment in time I feel all the truth is a lie Trying to see is that really you Or all the useless things people do to disguise It's like the bugs are under my skin The hunger within Wonder when the dust and when settles Suns up and begins Another wonderful trip Another touch from the drip A man don't know I jot it down Every thought not a skip Not a cloud to mention Not a single thought for getting my spot Let me stop bullshitting Approaching a different kind of honest grip And stomach wrenching God forgive him I'm twisted Every single thought I have Has another thought on top of the one beginning Shit am I losing my mind I need to get a grip on myself Let go to grip and it's nine And oh my god I start to wonder if Other people wonder this Deceived by your dream When I sleep it seems like love exists When I wake up love is missed Touch and miss Spring in a fragrance I hope I want some forget But all this time I just let my heart decide Which part to play Inside of this twisted game of insanity That revolves in time Yes. See, my whole life's been a twisted game. Never knew what to think. Wonderful thoughts with an evil side would come from under me. Like, really? Where the hell is all this anger coming from? Leaving me to wonder, like, what the hell am I running from? Did I go cuckoo, man? Who the hell am I talking to? Am I talking to myself? That's even crazier than what I want to do. I need to get some help. Digging deep into my scalp. Imagine it's me dreaming. I'm just thinking to myself, like, hold up, it's a waving flash. Now I'm seeing trails. Everything is different in the walls. They just seem to melt. Need to calm down and start breathing now. Let's take a break. <laughs> yeah, that's better. That's crazy great. Amazing ways of me phasing myself to stay in place. Go to sleep in Arizona. Wake up in a different state. So then I wonder. All the things I could just live without Guess I'll never know Something I should forget about Never stop till I'm meant to never move again. I'ma never walk the other way, like the song say. I just let it talk as I keep focused on the only thing that I buy. If you only knew we carry a pain inside, you need to turn that pain to drive. Drive it to the bank and fly. Cause man, the goal is gold. Take the L out, roll it and behold. song man it was a nice ass song who was, it? Who was it? <laughs> that was why not man why not tuck oh, town song hey that's my white boy white friend my person he's actually white mexican but everyone assumes he's white yeah don't, but don't let the skin know. color fool you people would never know that that like why not is white no like, but i wanted to throw it out there because that's what people judge but you guys heard the song first so you guys already didn't even know we fooled you. Check you out this it. YouTube video. It's killing niggas in the battles, though. Like, man, dude. People be- already know him all around the United States just by his freestyle skills. Smack URL. Look up. You know, why not? Coming up. Yeah, but look up the old voice box battles. Why not? Why N-O-T? It's Tony Backwards, because that's his name. He cold as shit. Mmm, Tony Backwards. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, back to the show. I told y'all we gonna get into some ways to stay true to yourself because that's what we all about. And these are some good tips. So write these motherfuckers down. I'm telling you because they're gonna help you better yourself as a person. 
is 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 who you stand for, not the person that you know society or your mom or your uncle want you to be. For real, real shit. So, um, all right, y'all ready? Everybody ready? Yeah, we ready. All right, everybody. Ready? All right. So, number one, cherish those special friendships. Hmm. That's a deep one, you know, because you know I had friends who knew that you know what I'm saying that loved me unconditionally, you know. But this is truly invaluable. You gotta make and keep those good friends and be honest with them because you know they can make your moral compass during the stormy times. You know when you're going through hard shit, you always got your people around you, showing you, you know what I'm saying, helping you out. If it's just a laugh, if it's just a kick it, if it's just a blunt. Mm. Mm. Still got your people that's around you, you know, so stay true to the people, stay true to your surroundings, your people, your friends. I think they go for family too, man. I think it's all relationships, not just friendships, but just relationships, you know. That point one, motherfuckers you fuck with. Yeah, 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 anybody. So, uh, yeah, that's number one. Yeah, Yeah. slaughter. Killed. (laughs) DOA. Alright, so number two, uh, don't hate. On those who stumble, we, we all do sometimes. Oh man, St. Louis, talk about this, man. Man, you never, never, never hate on a motherfucker that stumbled, dog. You know what I mean? It's cool, you know what I'm saying? If a motherfucker fall, this is 37, 38 time falling, and you see him, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, like, man, it's cool, bro. You know, we both can't fall, goddamn me, you know what I mean, my nigga? But when you want to stand up with the rest of us, nigga, we right here with you, dog. But you can never hate on a motherfucker, dog, because that could be you any day, nigga. Tomorrow ain't promising nobody, dog. Straight up. Yeah, that. That's real, you know, all I think. All slip and fall. We all slip and fall, so, you know, shit, we all just trying to hold the wall. Stand back up. Stand back up. Get back up again. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up for your rights. That's number two. Then we get to number three. Take responsibility for your own life. Ooh. 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 Nobody. Ooh. Does that. Let them sit. <laughs> Who does that these days? Mm. Who takes responsibility for their own life these days? Not even the church takes responsibility for their own life. Not even the government takes responsibility for their own life. They take responsibility for ours and then they mishandle it. What? Disrespect it, mismanage it, and then blame us for it. What? Taking away our food stamps. What? The veterans need money. What? They coming back tortured and injured. Where's their benefits? Nigga, they taking all the benefits. What about the health care? What about the welfare? What about the nail care? What about the checks? What about the dental? What about the goddamn food stamps? We hungry. Damn. What about the regular postage stamps? They going up to like 75 fucking cents. And then they trying to cancel the whole postage system. How are we going to get mail? Email? I don't want to depend on that because the government might be watching it. Mm. They are watching it. They watching our emails? Facebook. So you mean to tell me they inside my Yahoo account? Instagram, Twitter. What about my Gmail? Man, the government mail. For your own life, step up to the plate. If you a man, be a man, dog. If you a woman, be a woman. Same, same thing. If you grown, be grown. You know what I'm saying? Take them responsibilities that come with being grown, motherfucker. Own up, nigga. Straight up, man. Straight up. All right, so we going to get into... Yeah, and we're going to get into the next one. For real. Number four. This is a good one. Have a big vision and keep your goals aligned with your vision. Let me tell them about that. Okay, tell them a little bit about that, Craig. People be having them small visions and small dreams. If you got a small dream, what are you going to accomplish with that? You need a big dream. You got to dream big if you want to achieve big. People be thinking about the small things in life. You got to think about the small things that will lead to the big things that will last forever. Mm. You invest $5 today. You might get $10,000 20 years from now. You invest five minutes listening to this podcast, you might gain 20 minutes of knowledge that will change your life forever. Mm. People don't think about that. Mm. Mathematics. Mm-hmm. That's all I got. My bad. Ahead. But at the same time, man, what people people sometimes fail to, you know what I'm saying, fail to do and accomplish is that you got to be realistic at the same time mm. you know you can be idealistic about a lot of things in life 
but depending on what goals you have set, you know, your goal is to pay that gas bill, you know what I'm saying, right. nigga? I can spend this hundred dollars at the boat, and the idea is that I'll win a lot of money, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga, it might, it's cold in the wintertime right now. You know what I mean? Motherfucking right. the loot just got swamped, nigga. You know what I mean? It'll be idea to make sure Amber and you, we get that motherfucking money early. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, you got to make sure your vision and your goals line up perfect enough where you can still maintain. Mm. All I can say is, you know, make sure your short-term goals... Are, are are molded for your long term goals, and you know we we did do a whole a whole episode talking about goal setting. So you know, go back to uh, I think that was episode one. We did the goal setting. Go back to that one and figure out those. But you know, just make sure that that the shit that you do today is not in vain. You know, what I'm saying we make a decision each day of of, of how we want our shit to turn out. So you know. Make that happen. Yeah, for real. So we can get to number five. <clears throat> this one is a deep one, so I hope y'all ready for this shit. Man, how deep can it get? Right. Remember that death makes life real. Mm. Oh, no. Man. Death makes life real. I just want to quote Steve Jobs on this one. You know, late great. He said, remembering that you were going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose you are already naked there is no reason to not follow your heart we was born dead that's how we were mm-hmm. already born dying so why are we even you know, that's the only fact people try to avoid the most yeah you're trying to avoid death so uh, number six Mm, real <laughs> fresh. Shout out to Budweiser. St. Louis song. Fresh out of St. Louis. Budweiser. This is not a commercial. <laughs> but they should have paid me. <laughs> right, right, right. Budweiser, how let me, you know what I'm saying? Shit. I can promote y'all shit on the crunch time. Number six. Alright. Don't worry about making mistakes. Man, if people worried about making mistakes all the time. There would be no life. Right, right. I learned that even doing like this show that I can't, you know, everything not gonna be perfect. I'm not trying to do it perfect. Nobody's perfect, and I think that our our listeners that listen to the show knows that, you know, we all not perfect. We all do shit that's, you know. What was peanut butter? A mistake. Peanut the, butter was a mistake. The light bulb, a mistake. Light bulb was a mistake. Even the traffic light, a mistake. What? Changed our lives. I was a mistake. We were all mistakes. No, <laughs> <Damn. I'm saying. laughs> that shit got deep as shit. That was the deepest one. We are all. Mi- I was a mistake. I got implanted into a. You know what I'm saying? A whole bullshit. <laughs> but I must have chose it. My spirit chose it. But you know what I'm saying? It was a mistake. It was a mistake. But this was the greatest mistake ever. Right. You got to learn from it and accept it for what it is. Right. Scary money don't make money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, uh-huh. if a motherfucker ain't trying to get out here and get it, you know what I'm saying, nigga? You ain't a boss till you took a loss, nigga. And Ooh. I done paid that cost, nigga. And I bounced back twice and floss, nigga. So Ooh. motherfuckers already know, dog. <laughs> Number seven. That's a good one. <clears throat> Damn, nigga. <laughs> nigga, that was thanks to Budweiser, too, man. Damn, Budweiser and Klein. Damn, you stay with a whole leaf blower on me. Oh, he... Damn. <laughs> nigga, that was that old 1990s Nickelodeon burp, nigga. That's that Rocco's Modern Life burp. Nah, nigga, that's that. Laundry Day's a very dangerous day. Nah, that's that beginning of Nelly E.I., yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You already know. Oh, oh, you- I'm sitting up here thinking the same. Uh, 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 uh. Right. St. Louis uh, niggas, y'all yeah, know what we talking girl. about. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> know your strengths. You got to know that you are unique. You know, like, there is only one you in this entire universe. No one has exactly your strange or magical mix 
of genes and experience so you got to dwell in that because that's your key to for you to stand out and that's the key to opening up your door man you who wants seven spider-mans mm. you can't have seven spider-mans or seven superman you all gotta have your own special unique talents that quarterback ain't shit without the people that's blocking yeah. you can be the coldest the quarterback the defender. yeah the goalie with no defense everybody gotta that's be on real. point that's real team Shit, at the same time, motherfucker, nigga, you gotta know your strengths and know your weaknesses at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Just, just, just putting a little point on it, man, because if fighting ain't your strength, nigga, don't be that nigga that's popping off at the mouth loud and I'll whoop your ass and I'll do this and do that, nigga, fuck you. If that ain't your strength, nigga. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And sometimes motherfuckers don't even know their strengths or their weaknesses. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They sleep That's on. the same time. You got to know who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what you can do? Mm -hmm. Have you pushed yourself to your limits, motherfucker? Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have you went all the way down, came all the way up? No. A lot of motherfuckers don't even know what they capable of, mm -hmm. dog. That's why, motherfucker, I live by that thousand, you know what I'm saying? You go a thousand every day, nigga. Mm -hmm. Shit, Bernie made off with no days off, nigga. Right. <laughs> Hit the weed, pause for the weed. Pause for the weed. <laughs> the elevator music, nigga. <laughs> Y'all make elevator music. Smoke break is over. Yeah. Once again, you are listening to the Crunch Time Podcast. You know, we still up in this motherfucker, TommyJizzleRice.com. Man, shout out that Tucson weed, bruh. <laughs> so we back. Number eight. You want to get back to it? You know what I'm saying? Be kind to yourself. That's a good one, man. Treat yourself good. If you don't treat yourself good, why would you expect someone else to treat yourself good? If you don't love yourself, don't expect no one to love you. I think there's also going to forgiving yourself for uh like sometimes we beat ourselves up over old shit that we probably just can't let go. We feel like we should have did this, so we should have did that. Worse than that, we murder ourselves with our thoughts. Mm. Niggas think too much. People think too much. That's human nature. We overthink everything and then blame ourselves for things that we already know that wasn't our choice to begin with. That's why you gotta say fuck it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean, if you ain't got that fuck it mentality, that shit eat you alive, nigga. You know what I mean, if you can't just L I G it, nigga, like 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 the homie Mike Epps said, nigga, let it go. Goddamn me, it's you know what I'm saying, nigga. Motherfuckers have heart attacks at 35. You know what I'm saying, yeah, motherfuckers having you know what I'm saying strokes at young ages, man. You gotta just let that shit. Go, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. That's going to bring us on. I think they need to let it go. Let it go. Yes, that's going to bring us on to number nine, you know, which is be in the moment. Man, people love living in the past. Yeah, they love living in the past. Or the you... future that's not there yet. Yeah. Don't count your eggs before they hatched. People, don't eat the chicken before it's fried. I'm going out with this girl just like a while ago, right? Quick story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, gave me her sugar, Can but that was a little later. Sugar? Yeah, that's later in the story. Yeah, all right, keep going. Keep going. All right, uh, so uh, I'm trying to kick her with it and, like, you know what I'm saying, enjoy right now. She worried about shit that happened two two weeks ago when school went some more shit that's happened two, four weeks ago from school, and I didn't even have a good time with the lady. Now I had to kick her to the side and find a better ride. Now I'm in a motherfucking <laughs> Billy. <laughs> <laughs> and I took away that uh, motherfucking pinto, you know. Yeah. Right. Went to a <laughs> yeah for real though, you know. So hey, it's all about how you think about yourself. Be kind and live your life in this moment. Stop trying to live it in the past or the future. Enjoy it now. We only get one right now. 
And that right now just passed. You ain't got tomorrow yet, cause nigga it ain't came. And that last right now I just was talking about, oh yeah, yeah, it just passed. I'm so serious. <laughs> All right, for real. So number ten, <laughs> exactly. Number ten leads us to the last one, man. It is don't forget to laugh. Oh, don't forget to laugh. That's the best last one. Some that's niggas be so hardcore, you can't be so gangster that you can't laugh. What gangsters don't laugh? How did I survive no. time in jail? Oh, I'm so big and funny that no one ever wanted to fight me. It didn't even come to that. I threw a bucket of Kool Aid on a whole unit of Mexican people when the shower cut off. And they was cool with me the next week. Cause I made jokes. You need laughs in your life. Most gangsters the best Jonas, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh me, nigga. You go to any hood, nigga, motherfucking OG. Look at your ass, nigga. Your bum ass, nigga. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers well, fucking talk real bad about you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers well, can't tell me. Motherfuckers ain't getting they laughs up, nigga. That motherfuckers survive like that, I'm dog. Good. You know what I'm saying? If you don't see the funny shit in life, nigga, life suck, nigga. You ever watch the news any day, I nigga? Know. Any day. Fuck whatever day, nigga. Any day, nigga. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers get depressed, dog. Don't do it so, every day. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers, you know what I mean, nigga? Man, it gets crazy. You know, check it, check out the Buddha, man. The laughing Buddha. Man. He used to laugh at people' pain. He used to see motherfuckers hungry as shit outside and just laugh. <laughs> Cause he knew none of this was real. Cause he knew pain is laugh. <laughs> hey, he was eating his head. <laughs> yeah, I be trying to understand that one though. Buddhist monks be sitting me down like, hey, listen to this. And Buddha used to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of fucked up when you think about it, though. Buddha, you was laughing at me when I, hell, nigga. nigga. You couldn't offer me a roll, nigga. You couldn't. Hey, sitting there fat as hell, nigga. Sitting on, all the, <laughs> sitting on all the cupcakes, nigga. And the motherfuckers in there hungry. You laughing at them. Motherfucker can see the higher meaning in it, but at the same time, how that motherfucker was thinking right then? Like, damn, you asshole, nigga. You couldn't. Hey. You could have gave me that bowl of noodles you just ate. That was your third, nigga. Yo, so those were the ten. St- steps to staying true to yourself you know write them down make sure you know listen to them over and over again i know we was wild i know we had a couple of interruptions but nobody's perfect and this is the crunch time podcast and listen to it on tommyjizzlerice.com yeah google me tommy jizzle rice you know google That's craig no. google everything you know cg1 love but don't google me nigga google the nigga that created craig damn all right so Speaking on that, we're going to get into this song we did a while ago, man. We straight up did this. Damn, oh, how long was man. this song, bro? This was 08. 08 in St. Louis. I went for a week, and it was the ghetto. It was the ghetto. I'm from Arizona. Y'all know this ain't ghetto. You live here, you think you're in, you're in the ghetto? This is a playground. Tucson, Arizona is 90210 meets the wire. And that's it. That's <laughs> it. This is not ghetto. Listen to this song. This is real life, real heart. My little brother produced this. He made me a producer. The new CD coming out. I'm not trying to promote myself, but you might want to Google it. Yeah, throw a tag. Black Legion, 95 Thesis, Spice One, Selly Cell, Do or Die, Project Pat, 36 Mafia Reunion, all that stuff, original 36. But nigga, fuck with my brother. My little brother, Jizzle, St. Louis, that's it. Yeah. Man, this is our song we got together called Ghetto. Listen to it right here at Crunch Time Podcast. Yeah! <laughs> I work in a four-day factory with a passion, I will blast the beat. How 
else my ass gon' eat? Factual actualities, randomly conversations I'm making it. They keep passing me. Nobody wanna struggle, but nobody wanna hustle. See, I be in that I'm a G theology. I'm double of what you consider double. Now triple and cube that black. Why they make me that? My purpose now I'm holding back. What I wanna do, wanna tell you, wanna thank you for blessings held in blessings and blessings are held in open doors. I'm guessing the message, my messenger, give me more. For I am lost, I, I am lost, can't take any more, any more, any more. You can feel my pain just like the rain when it showered down. Let it drown you out. Cleanse your soul like the Holy Ghost. Can't let life get you down. Feeling down? Let them know you don't. Like you holding dope. Confidence gon' pick you off the ground. Have you flying high off your self pride? Like all I need is myself, right? If you a hustler, it don't matter if your check's right. See niggas so advanced, already thinking about their next life. Like if I don't get it now, I'll get it in the next, right? Don't ever stress on life, gotta make the best of life Money just a part of it, with success come the rest of life And I can see it clearly like memories from years ago Success is in my future, guess my past is like a mirror So it's a reflection of my struggles That molded me into a man of many hustles Show me one I'll double Got a mind like Russell Simmons, I'm a businessman Spell my business like I'm whipping in the kitchen, man And we're back Crunch Time Podcast I hope y'all was loving the show You know We did the steps We talked some shit You know I'm in Arizona right now Tuck Town You know I mean Damn man New Year iTunes Check it out TommyJizzleRice.com I'm loving the feedback Make sure y'all comment On the blog page On the site And let me know What y'all think about it Let me know what's up For real I gotta say uh, uh, Give a a quick shout out to a couple of people that like my status, I uh, did uh, I did a status tweet about some stuff. You know, I put, uh, yo, I'm about to go live on the Crunch Time Podcast. Reply, retweet, like, and glide me. And I put you on. And a few people liked it. You know, so shout out to uh, my homie, Zook. Zook, what up? You know, he a dope-ass producer from St. Louis. What up, man? Uh, who else? Oh, it's my cousin. My cousin, Jasmine. You know, she liked my... Status, what up, Jasmine? Mm-hmm. What up, Big T, too? Grinding all day. Mm-hmm. And also, Michael Mitchell like my status. So, shout out to you. And, oh, yeah, Pablo Collins had liked my status, too. So, shout out, my ninja, your diggles. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the Crunch Time Podcast, episode six. Yeah, and we out of here. Thanks for listening. Peace. Love and light. Love and light. Very important to play over and over because you learn by listening. Thank you for listening to the Crunch Time Podcast. Crunch Time Podcast, hosted by transmedia activist, the one and only Tommy Jizu Rice. All right. That is all.